beautiful people, my name is Marilyn Tantrum and I make skating videos here on YouTube and there's lots of flies, it's super hot summertime. If you're new here, hi, welcome, skating journey, you're the best, you got this, thank you for clicking. I'm going to show you today some roller skating drills that everybody can do, or you will be able to do it. The that I'm using today will be in the comments below. I am on concrete floors, so obviously surface depending. I've been coaching these drills kind of, but let's put them all here. If you like these drills, let me know. And if you're building up or need more words or if you're more of a visual learner, well, let me know. I've been lots, huh? I've been making lots of YouTube shorts lately because they're easy and I'm lazy. If you like those, yes. I also make like bite-sized content on YouTube because that's where we're at now. That's where we're at now. And of course, long form stuff on here. So let's get into the video. Oh, at the end, I have some off skate stuff that's really benefited me. So hopefully it benefits you. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna be using like some cones today and like straight lines. If you don't have any cones, use a drink bottle, get some chalk, mark out a line, get some sticky tape, mark out a line. All good, right? Let's get into the skates. Skates are on. Oh, if you need a warm up, please warm up. In fact, just warm up. Just warm up. Warm up. Okay, warm up. So, the first thing we're going to do today after we are warm and our gear is on, I've just got my knee pads on today because, look, I'm not the gear police, you do you. We're going to do some line hops. This is a really good warm up. This is really good for balance, 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 balance. It's how you're gonna get skating super good. I'm gonna move the camera around a lot today so you can see, give you a little bit of words. Hopefully you get it. First thing I want you to do to get ready for hopping is be comfortable on one skate, right? So just practice lifting your knee up, keeping the chin and chest up, and just lifting your knee up. Then after you get it, then after you get good at that, think about rolling and lifting your knee up. Okay? Rolling, lifting your knee. Cool. You've got your line, you're just gonna roll and stay on that line. marching but you're lifting your knee up. I want you to lift that knee up and keep yourself in skate stance. Remember that your toes will always predict where you're going to skate as well as your shoulders so keep them in the line and try to look up using your peripheral vision to go from side to side. Now once you get to that you can do it backwards. that drill is is you can go as fast you can go as intense as you like okay so do it backwards forwards try and keep up we're learning that peripheral vision it's really good for footwork too you got this next drill so we're gonna get our cones we're gonna get our cones and this is called I don't know what it's called like coney toey toey coney I don't know but let me show you is for you to go around your cone or your drink bottle with your toe stop down next to the cone and we're putting our weight mostly on I'm gonna say everyone's a bit different but you're keeping in derby stance and you're coming around the cone you're staying in skater stance when we pop up we'll lose our speed you need to stay in derby stance and you want to look up that's that peripheral drills that we we're doing before getting used to like looking up and knowing that there's something there so, skater stance, we're coming around, 
and we're ready, okay? You're using your toe stomps, assuming they're set up correctly for you. You're using a little bit of speed and you're whipping around, you know, around. You wanna definitely lean your body towards the cone as well. I mean, using that tripod and your toe stop and your two front wheels to curve around. So using your edges, you wanna make sure, are we mowing? You wanna make sure that you are using your trucks and just everything comes to the party in this short. It looks easy, but it's kind of hard. Okay, let me give you some more visuals. So you can transition and come around, or you can just start backwards, whatever you fancy. That toe stop comes next to the cone and you're spinning around. See how I'm using my edges, really using my trucks to spin around. Come at it with some speed, toe stop down, turn around. So the weight is here, I'm using this edge to spin around, okay? If you're getting really stuck with that, practice being on a, your toe stop and using you, these two wheels to draw a C around, okay? Drawing a C around. Let's try again. Don't you love that professional setup that I have? So the aim is obviously to stay square. You really want to stay square. You don't want to end up with your feet out here or in here. You're staying in that skater stance. You're nice and low and you're twisting around, using that momentum, okay? You need momentum always. You're not going to go anywhere and you go, I'm just made a home with this cone. Just practice, practice. It's good fun once you get it and, you know, stability is everything on skates and being able to use all our tools is next drill. So the next drill we're going to do is called train tracks. I've been coaching this a lot because I kind of dig it. It is where we are in our skater stance and we're moving in a motion like this. This is going to get you ready for uh, like gated laterals, hockey stops, all that good stuff. It's to learn our balance, our edges, and to learn to have the weight in the back of our skates. When I first started skating, I loved to be a toe stopper, put my weight super forward because that's where our gear is so it feels comfortable so i want us to learn to put the weight in the back of our skates so we can really get that power later on really good warm-up as well let me show you show you with my skates for my visual learners we want to be in that gated stance right so we're putting the weight in our heels a little bit so much that we can possibly flick up our toes okay that's the type of weight we're going here and we're just going to be in a slight slight v we're using our inside edges and our back skates to go forward. Looks like this. Choo choo! Train tracks. I want to give you a bit more of a close up. See what my skates are doing. I want my core on and my shoulders up. The weight's going to be in that bum a little bit. Okay? Looking forward. Cool, huh? Shoulders up, nice and open. Looking forward. You're going to feel this now. Once you get good at that, I want you to do it rolling. Bring your arms into it, okay? That weight in the back of the heels, okay? So this is just looking about all those beautiful edges putting the weight in the back of your skates and it's gonna get you ready, honestly, for carving, okay? So it's gonna get you ready for being in that motion, okay? Scissors, wide. That's what it's getting you ready for. That beautiful C cut, okay? Knee forward, C. 
and then soon, hockey stops. This is around the track, and again, you can bring your arms into it, get you used to being in this train track motion, right? You use it so much, this beautiful uh, gated stance, scissors, whatever you want to call them. Once you get fire at them, just skate like this. Skate in that gated stance. Come around. You can even put a cone. No trouble. I know that half of this is cut out, but I want you to see my edges massively. A cone there. Beautiful. See how I'm in that beautiful scissor? And if you're having trouble, put some pressure on your knee with your hand. Yes. We're using these edges for this way and the other way these edges, right? Really, really dramatic. Think about pushing with that knee, open chest, C. to make that is I'm really using my edges right so don't miss the first step of being comfortable in this staggered stance I'm using my knee and I'm putting my weight really far from so there's my skates so there's my weight like a hockey player right making that beautiful big C nothing wrong with if that's really intimidating and you just want to use your edges to lean and then make a bigger C and then we make it tighter 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 turns into a lateral turns into a hockey stop turns into tools on your skates. So these are all the tools you need. Cone, drink bottle. I, like I said, I'm on polished concrete floor. I have really hard wheels on. Things that you can definitely, you can definitely still do the C outdoors with the outdoor wheels on. You're just not gonna really get that, that sound, that <laughs> you're not gonna get that. But you can still practice those edge work. I absolutely love these drills. They're bread and butter. If you get bored of them, elevate it, make it matter. You can step backwards, okay, do it better. Put your knees up higher, chest up, longer, stronger, better. Really good at train tracks, excellent. Do that C cut, do those laterals. You really good at the toey coney? That's probably the hardest thing. I'm, I can't see you skater, so I can't really see what you're struggling with, but practice, practice, practice. When you feel it, you'll go, ah. Also, hot tip is to record yourself. Record your progress. You can see where your skates are. Edges, 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 low, 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 up, up, up. You got this. So now I'm going to insert some amazing off skate stuff that you can do. You got this. Please leave a like, subscribe if you want to. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and let me know what you want to see next. Have an amazing day. Enjoy your skating journey. Do not compare yourself to other skaters. You are living your best life. Off skate. This is gonna help with your balance, it's gonna help with just everything. If you don't have a dumbbell, just get a drink bottle and fill up with water. The thing we're gonna do is balance. So get on one foot, we're going to just move the dumbbell like across the nipple side to side. Once you get sick of that, push it up, push it up, push it up. And other foot, good. See the core is on, upper body, boom. Easy, right? Really good for balance. What you to do is obviously always get comfortable in derby stance. Boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna do ticker hops, bringing the knee up, keeping the upper body super stable. Boom. Boom. And then when you get fire at this, I want you to bring the whole body, swing the leg back. Boom. Boom. So yeah, no. we all know this. Ticker hops. 
and skaters. Easy, right? Boring. But 30 seconds on, 10 second rest, you'll know about it. The next one I want you to do, which is also epic for balance, epic for fitness, core skater stance is one, two, three, jump up. One, two, three, jump up. One, two, three, pop. Ah! One, two, three, pop. One, two, three, pop. Pop. Another one that I really love doing, I'm playing with so many angles. We want to, one foot, balance, up. Balance, up. So my knees coming up, my chin's up, my chest is open. Boom. Boom. Easy, right? You got this. Some chill off skates vibes that you can do. Sorry, it's so cramped. <laughs> this space, but you got this. 